see that? Ah, that's gorgeous. I shared this with you. I'm not jealous of you at all, because I've got more of them here with the Armand. I saw them I last yesterday. Do. I know you do. And pretty soon, <laughs> the good news is, is that um, in probably two weeks, we'll be selling these uh, on the store, um, and these will be, um, I'll say the jewel, one of the jewels of the foundation, in that when we spin these reactors, we're able to create um, uh, not just an energy field in the center, but a consciousness field in the center. And we've been practicing with these now. We have a couple of them going in our facility. And um, it, let me make sure that my understanding is correct. Um, my feeling is that when we use the hydrogen, the hydrogen GANs and the, and the carbon GANs, is that we, we in essence are creating, are giving ourselves the ability to create almost anything that we want in that center field, kind of the, cent, the essence of creation, um, kind of like our own central sun, um, not just energy as in the sun giving out, but the ability to create more. Is, it, is, is that a correct understanding? In a way, yes, if you have, I explained to to Armin as well, and as I share with one, shares with everybody else. You've got to realize what we go, when we go into the space fuel. We have to, can I share, do you have something else to share or can I teach no, you? I'll, I'll stop sharing. you got to realize for this. one more question after this. Yes, carry on. No, no, go ahead. I'll, I'll ask that here. Okay. What you, what you understand is the following, which is much easier to explain, is this, that in the space reactors, um, how do I clean this out? I forgot what to do, okay, let's put it in a bin. Clear, okay. Um, when you, when, if you go back to all the teaching, I've told you, deuterium is the backbone of the space technology, for deep space travel. The reason for it is very simple. Deuterium is a balancer. You have a hydrogen, and you have tritium. For those of you who don't know the difference between what we call common hydrogen, it has one proton, and it has one beautiful electron. With the deuterium, is, oop, it's one, and here we have the same one. Here we have the same one electron, and we have one electron. With deuterium, we have one neutral, with tritium we have two of them. The, the problem with the present physics and what they call plasma physics and fusion physics is that in so many ways when you understand this you understand that you can play the game very simple. And the game, the simplicity of it is the existence of the two neutrons, or the single neutron. And if you look at it, this is a complete system. Here is acidic, here is alkaline. Here is acidic because an extra neutron is radiating, is giving. Here is alkaline because this needs to get one electron, one neutron to become balanced. In the space technology, like the reactors, when you understand the process, when you have deuterium, very simply by addition of the energy of one getting and they're changing to another, you create lift. When you have deuterium, you go to hydrogen. 
you have to give, you're attracting, you create gravitation. When you go to tritium, the, the, the other way. But don't forget, tritium in the Gans state, in the plasma state, is not radioactive. Radioactivity is a matter state of tritium. Because you're working in a plasma state, you work in a in non-radioactive, there is never any radiation out of these reactors, because one always absorbs the other. And because it's dynamic, it always stays the same. So, in the reactors we just seen with John and Arvin has been trying to do, is very simple. Put one in one reactor, put one in the middle, and put the other one. You can change very quickly deuterium to alcoholic, or acidic. You have the fuel of your creation for a space technology. That's if you are in a physical dimension, you have to have a spaceship. If you are working with emotions and you understand, the creation of deuterium, which is a balanced energy transfer, comes from your soul. You can just create any energy goal. Now the knowledge is deep enough in the Foundation, that those of you who are in advanced understanding of it, with this picture, I have sold all your lift and communication and the rest of it. You don't need so much copper here and so much acid there and so much uh, CH3. Create of the balance, little to give, little to take, it gives you a reactor, lift and motion. And then you have this 18 auxiliary or 180 auxiliary, or in some of the space reactors, we see massive number, thousands of them. In that process, one stays more alkaline, one stays alcoholic. And then, the, in that rotation of the boundary, where you put more energy off in alcoholic, uh, alkaline or acidic, dictates the direction of the motion. Very simple. This is the fuel of the space. You can't find copper all the time in the space, but you can find gravitational magnetic field packages, which imitate or have energy equal to the proton, electron or neutron, that you can confine them and continuously produce deuterium in this universe. Don't forget the basic element, which is the deuterium, which is the backbone of the any universe structure, is different in the strength in different universes. So, what is an electron to us at the energy level of strength, could be a proton level in another universe. But the total, totality of the balance of the fields of that universe, has given a specific position in the Unicos. And by adding carbon, we're able to create with it? You have to understand the principle. I'm a nuclear physicist. I know exactly how to create both. As I said, I'll never touch, I will not make anymore. I inspire for you to make. You have to understand, if somebody asked me, uh, there was a question, Caroline said, can you explain to people? We, we teach, and the beauty of it is, each one of us will have a solution. There's nothing wrong with it. You produce deuterium in a condition, in somewhere else, some of you, uh, you can produce it from, very easily from aluminium, some of you produce it from plastic, some of you can produce it for interaction of different elements. Then you understand, if you look at this picture, and you understand what you're creating, what you have in front of you, you have the skin of the spaceship, that's why, the color of the spaceships are always silverish grey in this planet. If you look at it, it's the three layer of the skin of the man, which gives the physicality of the man. You change the strength in one way or another, you give it the physical structure. For those of you who are interested in the matter state, physical state structure that you feel safe, this is your answer. But this is what I'm trying to push the emotions away from, to be attached to physicality or confirmation, unless they want. Deuterium is the backbone of the space, deep space, but when you go further in understanding in the future, then you understand you can do the same thing with the electron, which is amazingly, specifically, 
very tight pack, then you can travel different spaces of the universe. Because proton and uh, neutrons are, energy-wise, space gap, are too big. And too cumbersome to create energy from, because they always have to interact with each other. The electron is the absorber of their interactions, otherwise they lose everything. One of the reasons we have so many electrons is because of the interaction, the space gap, like the light we have on this planet, from the interaction of the plasma of the Earth and the Sun, it, it, there is some of it goes out, which becomes a space dust. The electron is there to collect that space dust of the specific strength. That's why we have electrons. It's a vacuum cleaner of the interaction of the rubbing of the fields. So, dynamic reactors will have a whole bunch of different uses beyond the space travel. Of course, you can produce any material. Yeah, so, in talking about um, other possibilities... Let me, let me, you touch something very important and you're passing it. Can I stop you for a second? Okay. When you put the dynamic reactors with deuterium, as you see it here, the interaction of the fields is not just mono, it's a spectrum of them. So, if you understood that this is what happens in the universe, the spectrum means gold, means silver, means neutron, uh, means uh, nitrogen, and everything else. Exactly. You understand? So, it's not that just you create electron, but that electron can be of the property of the hydrogen or whatever. And if you wish it, as it is, it'll create the message, what you give the strength of, you call it banana or whatever. And the banana appears in front of you. Because in the information of banana, you put the whole emotion and everything in. I'm exhausted today. So let me take this a little bit farther, or see if my understanding is, is uh, correct. Um, let me share that, you can share. With, um, with okay. the... Uh, can I ask, can you take a picture of this? Because this is important for those of you who are trying to make the space reactors. So, one of the things I was thinking with the dynamic reactors is we can almost, or well, in my mind, we can create an artificial intelligence. And in Why artificial? is real. Well, it's real intelligence. But in computers, they use um, silicon. And my thinking is that with silicon and the, um, this is me thinking now, if we use the hemoglobin, <laughs> we use the emotional hemoglobin with silicon. That uh, with amino acids, we can actually create a, uh, um, a a living artificial intelligence that we can, can work with. What do you think? That's exactly what I was going to tell you. You need to do. But you have to understand that artificial intelligence is only acceptable on this planet because the amino acid in the space will change. In the future space technology, those of who achieve the very edge of knowledge in the space, they create a dimension within a specific spectrum of the electron magnetic gravitational field, which means they can exist in any dimension. And uh, that's very, very important for us to understand. That is very important, that we have to understand. If we understand that space, then um, intelligence has no dimension and no, no physicality. But yes, you can do it, you can create a, exactly, as I was thinking to tell you, you said it means you have matured enough and that's beautiful the way you work. Now, if I can just find great one to clean my uh, clean my house, I got it made. <laughs> you got to ask what the others wishes. Huh? 